Here we have the sum 22 and 35. First of all, we are splitting, partitioning the number into tens and units. We very clearly use one digit in one box. We've written the T to show where we're putting the tens and the U to show where we are writing our units. So the 22 has been partitioned into 20 and 2. And 35 has been partitioned into 30 and 5. Underneath, we've drawn the two lines to show that next we're going to total our tens and our units. Here you can see that we've added the 2 and the 5 and written in the 7 as our total of units. And the 20 and the 30 has given us a total of 50. Adding the 50 and the 7 together, we get our answer 57. For this sum, again we have started by partitioning the number 27 and the 36. So we have laid out our sum to show 20 as 20 and 7 and 36 as 30 and 6. This time when we add our units, we get the answer 13. And our tens give us 20 and 30, giving 50. So we have shown that we now need to add 50 and the 13 together, giving us the answer 63. In this edition, we've done the same. We've partitioned our 75 and our 42. We've added the units to get 7. This time, when we've added our 10s together, we have the answer 110. And so we've written in the H to remind us now that we have hundreds in our total. So now, combining 110 with 7, we have the answer 117. In this example, we have units again that are going to go beyond 10. So we're going to record the 9 and the 7 as 16. And our answer to the 10s is going to show us 100. In doing all these additions, the children use a variety of methods to add their units and their 10s. Many of the children now know their number bonds and use these to support the addition of their units. While those less secure may use their fingers, putting a number at the largest number in their head and counting on, or may use their number lines or number squares. Again, children are applying their knowledge of number bonds to adding tens, so many children would have thought that 6 and 4 makes 10, so 60 and 40 makes 100. The children can though use their 100 squares or Lego bricks or Numicon to support them in their addition.